Welcome to Dr. Tim's training tips. And today we're going to talk about two particular rules on cross-infection control. The rules are that bugs spread on contact and bugs don't jump. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, let's look at the first one, that bugs spread on contact. So if we have a bug, which I'm going to draw on my gloved hand here, and we touch that bug somewhere else, the bug transmits on contact. What do I mean by bugs don't jump? is that that bug or that germ is sitting in that area, but it won't spread to the other areas unless we touch it there as well. And it spreads on that area too. Now, what does this mean? It means that if you have a bug on your hand and then you touch your face, you're gonna have a bug on your face. Now, if you then take that same area and then you wipe your hand with it, you now have a bug on that hand too. And so you can spread these bugs just by touching areas, which is why cross-infection control is very important. Now, the second rule that bugs don't jump means that if you can clearly define an area that is contaminated and an area is clean, and you hold on to those rules, then the bugs won't jump on that area. For example, the transfer tweezers. We have the back end which is contaminated and the front end which is clean. Now bugs won't travel down that um, transfer tweezers to the end unless you touch it and contaminate yourself. And the same rule that we have for the um, bib mat what the, that the tray sits on. So if the tray, and we decide that the tray area is dirty, and as long as we don't touch the clean areas, the bugs won't jump onto those areas. So two rules to help with cross-infection control. One is bugs spread immediately on contact, and two is that bugs don't jump.